A Coweta County landmark went up in flames last night. This is amateur drone video provided to Fox 5. That's the heirloom market and bakery. And firefighters say the century old building suffered extensive fire damage. Fox 5's Doug Evans reports tonight on the investigation of what started it. The Coweta County Fire Marshal tells Fox 5 that it appears that the fire may have started just off the front porch in the front of this historic building. He says it's there that he has noticed the largest amount of damage. Sky Fox drone shows you the front of the heirloom market and bakery. The damage here is extensive. The second floor destroyed and the roof burned and collapsed into the building. Here's what it looked like Wednesday night as Coweta County fire crews battled the big fire. State Road 54 was shut down at times. The fire department says about 10 people were inside the building when the fire broke out. They say everyone made it out safely. As of right now, I can't say what the cause of origin was or uh, is. Um, until we get into a further investigation, start digging it out and find out, look at wires, look at different things in there. I just think the origin of the fire was in the front area. I do know that much. And, um, and I was standing on the porch area. You can see where it had heavy fire damage. That's where I'm looking at, going to start looking at anyway. Parts of the building, we're told, are over a century old. Residents know of its long history as both retail and restaurants. It's a local landmark on the Coweta County, Fayette County line. New owners had recently renovated the building and opened it as the heirloom market with more than 50 boutiques, as well as the popular heirloom bakery. A GoFundMe page has been started to support owners Justin and Laura Gibson. They are the young couple who renovated the property. The heirloom market Market and Bakery is less than a mile from the Peachtree City Walmart that caught fire earlier this month and also closed State Road 54. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.